Okay, okay. Here it is. I went in the hospital today to have my pre-op things done. I had a lot of blood work done and a chest x-ray and I talked to the anesthesiologist. While I was down there getting all my paperwork done, they said, when are you having the surgery? June 26th or July 3rd? I said, I'm as evidence that this morning when I went in, it was going to be June 26th. So they called the doctor's office. The doctor came out of surgery, walked down the hall, came in to see me, and said, I apologize. This is never like this. We never have dates changed like this. Because I, we can't do anything about it. July 3rd. So he shook my hand. He said, I apologize. He apologized profusely. He said, this, this never usually happens. But he said, so he said, July 3rd is it. So, I did all the paperwork. I think I don't have to go back at all now um, until the surgery. The only thing is I got to check tomorrow because I saw the anesthesiologist, but he didn't do any testing on me. He just asked me a bunch of questions. So I'm not sure if they have to do something. They didn't say that I had to go back to them after I finished the other things. So, I'm going to find out tomorrow if I do have to go back and see him. But I don't think so. The way they talked is like, I'll see you Thursday or whatever day it was supposed to be. So, um... The only thing is, I, I'm gonna. I've been out of work the last week and this week because I thought my surgery was gonna be last week. Then I thought it was gonna be this week, so I don't have to be in. Um, I'm gonna call my work tomorrow and see if I can work next Monday, Monday and Wednesday because Wednesday night. The only thing I have to do Wednesday, they said during the day, was have all fluids during the day. I can have protein shakes, whatever. I have anything flu with liquids all day on no solids on the day before, and I can't eat or drink past midnight. But they didn't say I had to clean my bowels out or anything, so they said they wouldn't have to do that. Just have liquids that day. So they also told me I could take a few of my medications in the morning before I come into surgery, but just take it with enough water to get them down. And not to take any insulin that morning either, so they'll monitor that <coughs> going into the surgery and coming out of the surgery. They'll keep on checking my blood sugars. If I need insulin, they'll give me insulin if they need to give me fluids um, or um, sugar, they'll they'll put it in, in me. So um, there's nothing... They said there was nothing to worry about about getting low sugar readings. That's what I was worried about too, because I have low a lot of low sugar readings in the afternoon. So they said they'll monitor it. So I think that's about it. But it's July third, two thousand eight, seven thirty a.m. I assume this is the last time because he was really certain about this time. So, but I didn't. This is the first time I actually talked to the doctor with all the changes. I usually deal with his office. And they don't even call me. I'm the one that call them. But he actually talked to me today, and he made me feel good about it and everything. He apologized. So, so what can I do? I can't make him do the surgery this Thursday. So, it's another week to get used to everything and to get myself together and practice what I'm gonna do. Um, some of you left a message on one of my things because I said that. Um, what was it? I, um, oh, I went to a s support group meeting and they said that um, not to have a last meal because I'll be able to eat anything afterwards anyways. And what they said meant to say was I'll be able to eat anything within reason afterwards but um, in smaller amounts. So they didn't, they were talking like the guy wanted steak and cheese subs. He says he'll be able to have a steak and cheese sub, but he just won't have to have the bread with it, and he probably wouldn't be able to finish a steak and cheese sub. So that idea. But um, yeah, they said we're supposed to be able to eat any. She said we're supposed to be able to eat anything, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get sick. So I'm not going to eat anything with fat or fried, and I'm not going to have anything with sugar in it because that's what got me in trouble in the first place. So I'm gonna pretty much stick by that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through without going crazy but if I have really need a chocolate fix I'll get a piece of sugar free chocolate or something but I'm not going to even make that habit I'm just going to if I, it comes down to it I will go crazy because I want chocolate or something that's what I'll do I'll just have one but I, I don't know how I, that's how I say now I don't know how that will end up being when you know all said and done but hopefully I'll be able to stick it out and do it so uh, hopefully this is the last one I'll make. I might make one the night before I go into surgery. But hopefully this is the last one I'll make until then. So, that's it for now. I hope everybody's doing okay. And I know I'm getting everybody confused with all these last day, definite dates. But this should be the definite one. July 3rd. Thank God.